tonight about Copenhagen itself. Um, it, it's much more detailed um, kind of impression than what I had from my memories of Denmark that I wrote for Ken Vogel, which was a bit vague and poetic and kind of, you know, gushy. But this was the original introduction. It says, this book is a treasure map. Uh, created to help readers discover the secret places and hidden local gems that make Copenhagen one of the world's most livable cities and one of Europe's most exciting centers for design, innovation, and creativity. Like the Danish culture itself, the ancient harbor city of Copenhagen is full of charming, subtle idiosyncrasies. This is not a capital dotted with grand, iconic monuments. There is no Danish equivalent to the Eiffel Tower, Big Ben, or the Roman Colosseum. But for those visitors willing to leave the typical tourist path, and instead to seek out the real Copenhagen, there is a fascinating city just waiting to be discovered. Whether wandering through the Latin Quarter, rowing a kayak in the canals of Christianstown, or strolling the haunted lanes of Assistens Kierkegaard, or dining and dancing in the meatpacking district, this is a city where celebrating the simple pleasures of nature, cuisine, and relationships is at the very heart of what it means to be a Copenhagener. Copenhagen may not be a city with many monuments, but it is a city rich and uh, rich in this inspiring delights for those who know where to look. The aim of this book is to get you started on discovering the best of the real Copenhagen, both the interesting and delicious places you should visit, as well as some insights into the people, events, and ideas that have shaped the Danish capital. That's why this book includes not only lists of the five best places to sample new Nordic cuisine and the five coziest cafes for a rainy day, but also introduces readers to the five icons of Danish modernist architecture, the five cultural quirks to know about the Danes, and the five most fascinating relics from Copenhagen's past. To understand what makes Copenhagen one of the world's most trend-setting urban centers, it is essential to sample a few of the city's five, um, sorry, it is essential to sample a few of the five, city's five best microbreweries. Practice implementing the five most important rules for biking and browse the latest styles on display at Copenhagen's five best concept stores. Most important of all is to remember this, there is much to see, do, taste, and experience during your visit to probably too much for a single visit. Remember, this book is only meant to help you get started down the right path, and in the end, how many and which of the city's many hidden secrets you encounter will be completely up to you. So, that was the original introduction. I think the new one is like 10 words or something.